Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. And let me introduce our team. Our team is balancers, and there are three front end developers here. It's me, Maria Vatalova, uh, Nargis Mamedova, and Maria Pahomba. So, our project is comparative analysis of uh, AI tools, existing AI tools. And uh, our target was uh, to help uh, developers uh, make their work more productive. And uh, the target audience, uh, yeah, GS developers and pre-sales team members. Uh, we wanted to reduce uh, their um, manual and uh, repetitive manual task. Uh, and let's check. Uh, while we are researching uh, the tools, so we are um, highlighted three, uh, five criteria uh, which we are using. And uh, the first one, functionality and capabilities. Uh, it is um, the first. Uh, Mm, I don't know why we're choosing this app. Uh, the next one, accuracy and efficiency. The third, support and documentation, uh, ease of use, and the price. Um, we are researching a comp and uh, comparing AI tools uh, suit uh, suitable for several areas. And uh, in this slide, you can see the specific task um, for research. And the first one, generating layout based on the text description. The second, generating HTML and CSS from the page, uh, from the image, and um, generating a website from scratch. Um, the first one, uh, we are we were researching a lot of tools, and uh, here we can highlight only five. Uh, and uh, today I will focus on the, uh, the first one, Figma AI Assistant. It was the best. Uh, and uh, at the bottom of the slide, you can see the prompt which we are using for AI. And uh, here you can see their uh, first uh, attempt and the final. Um, yeah, this is the pretty similar which we uh, wanted to see. I will show you at the end uh, what we wanted. So, and uh, you can see that uh, all uh, tools started the, the uh, similar layouts. It was uh, very interesting. Um, yeah. So uh, we also use the dial uh, Dali. It's give us uh, it's um, give us a very beautiful layout, but not for using, just for inspiration. So and this is the reference for our prompt. Uh, it is the uh, uh, pr production pet project of our Maria member, and uh, uh, this is the form what we wanted to get from EA. So let's uh, go to, to the next part. It is generating HTML and CSS from the images. It was very hard uh, task, and we also research lots of tools, but we can highlight on the pre. And um, this is the screenshot which we provide to the tools, and uh, they wanted uh, to get the HTML and CSS on this page. Uh, the first one, OpenAI Chat GPT, it provides uh, from the first attempt very uh, good uh, layout uh, because uh, it doesn't forget uh, any components. Uh, menu here, all tabs, all buttons, and uh, all uh, hierarchy. So uh, this is image to code GPT. Uh, it needs a free attempt, as I remember. Yeah, because he forget about the menu, he forget about hierarchy, and so on. Yeah. So, and the last one, screenshot quarter. It it is very interesting tools because here we can choose uh, the four different libraries for our application. Um, yeah, you can see the screenshot also. Uh, and the best was the React. Uh, and let's go to the last one. Uh, it's a great website from the scratch. Uh, here you can see the top five uh, application which create only landing. App sites, applications, uh, and uh, all of them easy to use uh, and quick, uh, but uh, they are very, uh, they are suitable only for limited use cases, and we cannot change it, we cannot extend it, uh, yeah, it's just a template. And uh, it all, uh, they all are free. So, and uh, the brilliance of our presentation, which we are researching, it is the startup based on the uh, San Francisco. Uh, this application can generate the React Node.js application with database, with backend, and uh, with uh, um, server notification, with AUF, and uh, many, um, many features. Uh, and uh, you can see here, um, 
we can highlight that it can make uh, in 15 minutes. So, but uh, here only two application generation is free and five, uh, iter five iterations. So this is the prompt which we are using. Uh, it is the uh, familiar uh, with the first part of our, my presentation. It is application uh, for sharing checks, uh, sharing bills between friends. And uh, uh, the Marbleism creates uh, up to 15 user stories for each uh, pages. We, uh, we also list the pages which we need to use, uh, which we need to get in our application, and uh, he created up to 15 user stories. Yeah. We can edit it and um, yeah, describe what we want. Uh, let's check the layout of our application. Here you can see the leg, uh, login form, which was added automatically, and um, our main layout. Uh, so it also has a chat support. Uh, it was very useful, but today, Sunday, it doesn't work. Uh, they answer tomorrow. Uh, and uh, it also created the database, as I already said, in Postgres. And uh, these tools have a code editor in um, in UI um, base code, it is very uh, useful because you uh, you don't need to go to other uh, tab, uh, other application, and um, edit edit your uh, code. Yeah, uh, here you can see the email servers uh, server and uh, login also here. So and uh, you know that AI can generate very good. Uh, uh, results, but uh, we need to uh, focus uh, on that uh, and check our own and uh, don't forget about security. Uh, so that's it. Thank you for your attention.